morning, church family. It's so good to be back here with you again. Uh, before we let, get started this morning, let's go ahead and open in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you, and we just lift up this time that we get to uh, just spend in your word, Lord, spend with you. Father, I pray that um, as we just go through your word, Lord, you just open our ears and eyes and give us understanding, Lord, and um, I just thank you for this time that we get to spend together, and we just lift it up to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so this morning I want to share from Psalm 121. I'll give you a minute to turn there. Okay, starting in verse 1, it says, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall pre preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and you're coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. And so this was a psalm or a song that uh, the travelers or pilgrims would sing as they traveled. Um, now, if we remember, we ourselves are pilgrims. Philippians 3.20 says, For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly await for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So we don't belong to this world. We're just traveling through until that day comes when the Lord calls us home. So I think this psalm is something we should always keep in mind, especially when we're going through times of trouble uh, or doubt. So let's take a look at verse 2. The psalmist is saying that their help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So just think about that for a moment. The one who created everything is here to help us. Not a self-help book, not the Google, not a best friend who is willing to give you advice, but the creator. Could we ask for anyone better to help guide us? Next we see in verse three and four it says, he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall ne neither slumber nor sleep. And this brings me so much comfort, knowing that whenever I go to the Lord, that he isn't sleeping on the job. No matter what time of day, no matter where I am, he's there for me. Moving on in verse 5, it tells us that the Lord is our keeper. He protects us. So an example of this that I thought of, although it's kind of silly, is, is this. So we have, uh, Brandon and I have two little fur babies, and when we got our youngest one, she was just like six weeks old, just a tiny puppy. And I remember that uh, she would get into everything and anything she could find. If there was something that she could put in her mouth, it was in there and she was chewing on it. So I'd have to make sure and keep my eye on her uh, and make sure she didn't get anything that could hurt her. So another example is when um, you have a little one that's starting to walk, right? They don't have very good balance, so they're toppling over and dropping. And so we have to keep our eye on them and make sure they don't fall on something and hurt themselves. In the same way, the Lord keeps watch over us and protects us from harmful things. Something I want to point out is the words keep and preserve are said six times in these verses, showing um, emphasis on his protection. And finally, we see in verse 8, it says, The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in, meaning no matter where you are, whatever you're doing, he is there watching over you. This world we live in is changing more and more every day and getting worse and worse. As long as we are passing through, no matter how long the journey each one of us has, we can be confident in knowing that Jesus is right there next to us every step of the way. 
I want to close with this poem I'm sure most of us have heard. It's called Footprints in the Sand by Margaret Fishback Powers. It says this, One night a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at every lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I've noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I needed you the most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, my son, my precious child, I love you and I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. So he is always there with us, whether we feel him, whether we see him or not, he's there with us, either walking beside us or carrying us. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, Again, we just come before you, Father. I lift up this day to you. I ask that you just guide us and direct us in all that we do today, Father. And Lord, we just thank you that you are with us every step of the way while we're here on earth, Father. I thank you for your protection, Lord. I thank you for your love and mercy, Father. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.